Hey guys, this person wants to see how I made this math problem. It's an isosceles triangle with possible values of X, 69, 420, and 69,420. Sure, let me show you. First, I started with an arbitrary isosceles triangle. Then I gave each side the value of a linear expression. If it's an isosceles triangle, one possibility is these two sides are the same length. So I'm gonna set these equal to each other. Another option is these two are the same length. So I'm gonna set those two equal to each other. And the third option is these two are the same length. So I'm gonna set those equal to each other. Now for this first one, I want the solution to be 69, so I'm going to plug in 69 for x. For this one, I want the solution to be 420, so I'm going to plug in 420 for x. And for this one, I want the solution to be 69,420, so I'm going to plug in 69,420 for x. And then from here, I subtracted m from both sides, subtracted d from both sides, and subtracted m from both sides. And then I subtracted this b69 from both sides, subtracted b times 420 from both sides, and subtracted a times 69,420 from both sides. Smushed everything together, factored out the 69 to give me C minus B times 69, factored out the 420 to give me A minus B times 420, and factored out the 69,420 to give me C minus A times 69,420. Divided both sides by C minus B, divided both sides by A minus B, and divided both sides by C minus A. And then I got rid of the parentheses. Now I have three equations with six variables. So three of my variables are going to be free floating. So I can just choose any values I want for those. First, just to make things easy, I want to change this A minus B into a one. So I'm going to plug in two for A, and one for B. So both these A's are gonna change into twos and both these B's are gonna change into ones. Two minus one is equal to one and then that just goes away. And now if I add D to both sides, I now have N in terms of D. So now I have something I can plug into the N up here. So let's move this C minus one up here. Let's distribute the 69 to both of them to get 69 C minus 69. And now let's give it some room. And in the place of this N right here, I'm gonna plug in D plus 420. If I subtract 420 from both sides, this becomes negative 489. I'll scoot this over. And now I have a D minus M here and a D minus M here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by C minus 2, which brings it up here. Distribute the 69, 420 to both of those. Now I have two different equations with D minus M. So I'm going to substitute this whole thing into this D minus M. And now if I subtract 69C from both sides, I get this here. And if I add 138, 840 to both sides, I get this right here. Divide both sides by the 69, 351C. Scoot the C over. So both of these are divisible by 3, so I'm going to reduce it. And now I have a value for C. And I'm going to plug this value in down here. I'm also also going to plug this value into the C right here. And I don't need this anymore. Now I'm going to subtract D from both sides and let's divide everything by negative one. Now I have two equations and three variables. So I get to pick something for one of the variables. I'm just going to choose a value for D. And this was arbitrary. I just chose negative 110 because I thought it would make things look nice. So then I plug in negative 110 for both the Ds. Combine these, I get 310. So now I have N equals 310. And last, I just need to solve for M. So I'm going to subtract 110 from this. I'm going to multiply this times this up here. I'm going to give this piece a common denominator of 2, 3, 1, 1, seven, and then I'm going to combine both of these into a single fraction. Now I have a value for M. It's this right here. Get rid of all this stuff, scoot these up. I could plug in all these values for A, B, C, and so on, but I didn't really want any fractions. So if I multiply every term by the same number, it will grow the triangle proportionally. So I'm just going to multiply everything by 2, 3, 1, 1, 7. Both of these fractions are just going to lose that denominator, and these top ones are just going to become these large numbers. Now I'm done. I plug in this for A, plug in this for D, and then I'll rotate these, plug in this for C, this for M and this for B and this for N and now I'm done. So this is the original problem and this is how I figured it out. If you guys want to check out the other video, it should be the one right before this one. How exciting.